Okay, it's this one. Got it. <laughs> wow, it has been a while since I've been here. Last time I was here, I froze a towel off. It's, uh, oh, man. Good to know. <laughs> oh, man. It's been a good year last year. Lost a lot of weight. 35 pounds. That was pretty good. Thank you. Thank you very much for, like, applauding how horrible that is. Because... Because I, I, when I started doing comedy, I was overweight. So I have a lot of overweight jokes. So I just have stuff that doesn't work anymore. And it's bad, because they were good. Now I'm a horrible comedian. This sucks. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, there's things I can't say anymore. It just makes me seem like such an ass. <laughs> I can say ass, right? Yeah, I think I can say ass. Because <laughs> I mean... I, there's some jokes you can't say anymore. I mean, I, I no longer can say. When you do a chin, when you do a chin up, do you count per chin? Does it go like three, six, nine, one dozen? Oh, I need some donuts. <laughs> and I can no longer use the joke. I have a big butt. I know, cause black guys hit on me. I can't say that anymore. I, I still have a big butt, but it's no longer juicy. <laughs> oh, man. Of course, though, I had to lose weight. I really didn't have a choice. Because I wear toe shoes. I wear these abominations upon my feet. When you wear stuff like this, you need every advantage you can get to pick up on women. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you disagree. Thank you. Talk to me later. Uh, <laughs> but people ask me, why do you wear the toe shoes? Why do you wear them? Well, really, I wear them because I like extreme sports. Because these things suck up water like a tampon. Whenever I go to the bathroom and see a wet floor, it becomes extreme sports. I'm grabbing a mop. I'm using it as a pole vault. I'm running across walls trying to dodge what I hope is water. And people ask me, can, are you afraid of glass? Are you afraid of stepping on glass wearing those things? And it's like, no, I'm fine with glass. Glass is okay. What really scares me is stepping, stepping on dog poo. Because you can't, because, no, ugh, yeah, ugh. Because you step in it. It goes between your toes. It starts absorbing into the fabric. Oh, no. It's just like, just like, oh, you're dead to me. I mean, you don't, you don't, you can't take your shoe off after that. No, you got to cut off the leg. Oh, that thing has to go. There's no excuse. I'm sorry, writing. I loved you most of all. Oh, and while we're here, just want to say, Fudge the police! Fudge the police! Because they need love too. <laughs> but yes, you may have noticed I used a replacement word there because I cannot say bad language here. I have to keep it PC. Uh, I assume that's PC. I, uh. <laughs> Just I have to keep it, keep it clean. Because yeah, I have to use replacement words. I can't use the F word. I have to say fudge, but it becomes really weird when you put it back into normal language. Because like, a, would you like a hot fudge sundae? It becomes entirely dirty after you have put that back into normal language. And I can't say the S word. I have to say shoot. But when you're playing basketball and you're shooting the ball from half court, that becomes something entirely more impressive. <laughs> Frankly, you should be like president of something. President of something, if you can do that. I. That's just my stance. I mean, that's some Tijuana stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. What else? Valentine's Day. What happened recently? And there's this one girl that kind of like she wanted, wanted to try and impress me. She wanted. To, she was kind of hitting on me. She's like, hey. Oh, I do kickboxing. Come on. Punch me in the stomach. I was like, whoa. Things
things are moving a little too fast. Frankly, I prefer to go out on a date. Maybe so have a few kids before I start beating a woman. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I think I'll end it here. Just, I have a question for you ladies. Why is it that you don't like to be called hoes? Why, why don't you like to be called hoes? A hoe is such a helpful tool. Use it for tilling the soil, clearing out weeds. I guess women just don't like to be compared to something that sits there until it's used for plowing. But let's be honest, if the farmer didn't use the hoe, I mean, it'd just be sitting there in the shed, watching TV, eating bonbons. But where would the farmer be without the hoe? And let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, he'd just be tilling the soil, just him and his hand tools. <laughs> okay, everyone, you guys have a good night. Enjoy the show. <laughs>